<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. Yes, right. What's up? Hello, All right. One play. going on everybody how are y'all doing guess what obi One plays we're doing a news video that's right it's been a minute life man i got a job promotion we're trying to lock in a new house in one of the most expensive counties in florida and so just a lot going on but i miss i miss just delivering uh gaming content that's my passion that's what i've always been doing and so uh, i'm gonna try to uh, i'm not gonna promise every day but we'll try we'll try let's see how it goes top five biggest nintendo switch news items for the day and we'll see how many days in a row i can keep this going <laughs> all right but the first news item advanced wars advanced wars is one of my most anticipated games this year in 2022 and the game has been delayed again now it was already delayed until april april 8th was the new date and then because of nintendo is citing recent world events why they've delayed the game and of course it's because of the war in ukraine this is a um war focused game and so nintendo probably felt it felt it was insensitive to release this game during this time um personally we got call of well call of duty did come out before this came out but i doubt call of duty is going to delay their game i doubt if ea is making another, another battlefield that's going to be delayed fortnite you still have um, Team Rumble, I think, is still in Fortnite. There's other games with which war, heavy war themes that are still out on the market and are still going to be released. This game is, has a cartoon aesthetics and more lighthearted. I, uh, of course, prayers to everyone who's in Ukraine and going through all of all of the turmoil over there. But I think this game um, should have still released, but just me, one man, one YouTuber, one opinion. But the next news item, Nintendo has just dropped a brand new trailer for Nintendo Switch Sports titled Run This House. And the game does look cool. <laughs> I was joking around with one of my sponsors yesterday while we was racing in Mario Kart. Um... Do they have a pro controller mode where I could just sit down and play this game with my pro controller? <laughs> I think I'm getting too old to be up and running around. But I'm, I'm going to get this. I have Y'all already know we have a lot of kids. And so this is a fun family game. But all new trailer. The game does come out at the end of this month. At the end of this month. Definitely, definitely going to be picking it up. This was the Wii Nintendo's cash cow during the Wii era. Many people bought a Wii just to play Wii Sports and didn't buy any other games. For many um, grandmas, um, uncles, aunts, the Wii was a Wii Sports machine. But the Switch, we all know the Switch is still selling. What's great about the Switch is it's not just selling hardware, but software scale sales are breaking. Every first party game that releases on the Switch breaks a new record for Nintendo. The Metroid series. Uh, you name it. I think Kirby and the Forgotten Lands has broken their Kirby um, franchise record. It is, the Switch just sells software. So I'm glad that both hardware and software is selling for the Switch. Speaking of software, one of my favorite games this generation. One of. Metroid Dread. The all new Boss Rush Mode DLC has released so if you still need a metroid dread itch the game was fantastic from beginning to end i was in the camp of i didn't think this game was worth 
$60 because it was a, a 2D platformer, but I was sold when I played the game. The more I played the game, the more I was convinced it's definitely worth 60 bucks. The game was fantastic from beginning to end. Uh, some of the, um, I forget the name of the, uh, the robots, um, Emmys, some of the Emmys, man, were they um, tricky to defeat, but love the game from beginning to end. Metroid on the Super Nintendo, still my favorite Metroid game just because of the nostalgia, but um, new boss rush mode is now available for Metroid Dread. Go and get it. And speaking of Metroid boss rush mode, Jeff Keighley is about to be the boss of the summer when it comes to video games. Y'all saw the segue. Bro, E3 has been officially canceled and Jeff Keighley has capitalized on the moment. He immediately tweeted out, I think, a meme of himself. Um, I forgot what he posted on the tweet, but pretty much saying, I'm still here. Never fear, E3 is gone, but I'm still here. And so expect the usual blockbuster announcements, big releases, because the holiday season, what big games are coming out holiday? We got God of War, Ragnarok. What is Xbox doing? What is Nintendo doing this holiday season? It's quiet. And E3 summer is usually around that time where we get the major announcements. We find out what's really going to be launching in uh, for the second half of the year. And Nintendo's one of those companies that keeps their cards close to their chest, uh, keeps us in the dark, and then bam, October. November, we, um, September, we have uh, tons of games to play. I remember they did that one year, and no doubt they're going to do it again this year. Um, Super Mario Strikers, that's going to be my get my Switch game for this year. So we'll see. We'll see what else is announced, but um, no E3. <laughs> and last but not least, if you're looking for games to play, you're experiencing a gaming drought right now, Go to the eShop. Right now on the eShop, there is a spring sale going on with crazy, crazy deals. The Lego franchises, um, tons of games on there. Lego City Undercover is only six bucks. Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, only six bucks. And it goes on and on. Mortal Kombat 11 right now is only 18 bucks. And so if you go through, check out Sonic Mania, it's half off, usually 20 bucks. It's only 10 bucks right now on the eShop. And so tons and tons of great sales going on right now for Nintendo, if you're a Nintendo fan. So those are the big news items for today. Uh, like I said, um, we'll see if I do them every day. Like I'm, my schedule right now, I'm super busy, but on the days where it's light, especially in the evening and nighttime, I probably do my videos more so closer to the evening. Um, sometimes maybe after my kids go to sleep or whatever, y'all know my, my, my schedule is whatever, bro. And so, uh, that's it. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Oh, I forgot my bro. I'm going to start doing my bros again on my videos. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy.